Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics. 2019 is just around the corner, so it's that time of year when I look back at the last 12 months of uploads and share my top 10 most popular tutorials from 2018. Channel stats on the whole are down slightly from last year by between 15 to 30% in views and subscriber growth. This time last year I'd just about reached 200,000 subscribers and almost a year on I'm almost at 250,000 subscribers. It's not quite the explosion from 100,000 to 200,000 in 2017, but it's nice to know my channel is still steadily growing. So coming in at 10th place with just over 11,000 views is my tutorial showing how to create a false colour infrared effect in Photoshop from June. This was quite an unusual topic that I doubt many people would find use for in their everyday work, but it's an interesting effect that replicates the style of traditional photography that generates unique colours from using infrared film. One of my more recent uploads from October comes in next to almost 12,000 views. In this text portrait Photoshop tutorial, I show how to produce a clever effect where a passage of words bends and warps to form the contours of a subject's face. It's a popular tutorial I originally created in written format on my Spoon Graphics website many years ago, so I figured I'd revamp it as a video tutorial for YouTube. Since it's already in my top 10, hopefully this video will go on to attract good views from YouTube search and suggested videos in 2019. In at number 8 with almost 14,000 views is an upload from way back in January 2018 showing how to create a watercolour text effect in Photoshop. This is a nice simple tutorial that uses a cocktail of filters to produce the effect so it's easy to follow along step by step. Next up at 7th place is an illustrated tutorial from July 2018 that shows how to create vibrant gradient orbs using Illustrator's gradient mesh tool. This is another really simple tutorial that's under 4 minutes long. Its view stats from YouTube search seem to be on the up since September, so this is another video that could potentially grow further in 2019. Another video with around 14,000 views is up next. This guide shows 5 ways to add matte photo effects to your images in Photoshop. I've produced quite a few videos this year that show how to replicate the styles and effects of traditional analogue photography, this one being the most popular of them all. My longest tutorial of 2018 at 15 minutes in length was my guide to making your own Fosakes using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Fosakes are the name for the recent trend of a mosaic tile text effect that has been a hit over recent years. My guide explains a technique I came up with that can help you achieve the effect without having to tediously draw each tile by hand. With 16,000 views this is my 5th most popular video from 2018, but with over 1000 likes it's my highest rated. With 20,000 views, my tutorial showing how to create the classic tiny planet effect in Photoshop comes in next. I think this is the first video so far in this top 10 that has gained more views from YouTube search than being embedded on my Spoon Graphics website. This is also another fairly simple tutorial topic that can be followed step by step. My third most popular tutorial of 2018 with almost 25,000 views shows how to create a dripping slime type effect in Adobe Illustrator, published back in February. This effect can be applied to your hand lettering pieces or to existing fonts to customise the type. The vector drips and the bright colours make the text look like radioactive ooze, then a simple trick with the brush tool helps draw some highlights. Also with almost 25,000 views is my second most popular tutorial from 2018, my neon sign effect illustrator and photoshop tutorial from June. This tutorial uses the strengths of both applications to create the different parts, the initial layout with illustrator's shape building capabilities and photoshop for the vibrant lighting effects.
Then taking number one spot in my top 10 most popular videos from 2018 is my abstract pixel sorting effect Photoshop tutorial. This video has just over 25,000 views, so there are no big hitters this year, unlike in 2017 when my most popular upload had over 175,000 views. I'm actually quite surprised that this particular topic reached number one with it being such a niche effect. It may be the combination of a short, simple step-by-step -step process that produces a cool result is the secret formula. So there you have my most popular uploads from 2018. Links to all of them are in the description area if you want to check them out in full. Let me know down in the comments if any of my other tutorials stood out to you, or if there's any that you found particularly interesting or useful. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in 2019.